Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we got a couple requests for it, so I'm going to play it. Uh, this is the rotation proof black white control deck that I featured in my first part of the Aether Hub article on rotation proof decks. Um, so, this is something I, I drafted up originally, uh, but didn't actually get gameplay on. I did make a couple tweaks from the original version. Uh, the original version had four uh, Dreadhorde invasions. I opted to go a little bit more control oriented and just shifted things around just slightly. Um, I also only have two of the Temple of Silence, so just in place right now I'm just playing Scoured Barons just as a kind of in between. I uh, also need to add in, what is it, Interplanar Beacon, add three of those in. Okay, so. Uh, the deck itself is completely rotation proof, meaning all the cards will be available post rotation. Um, with all my rotation proof decks, I do not claim that these will be tier one, that they will be the best deck in the format. Merely what we're doing is looking at cards that are remaining in the format, seeing what kind of shell we can put together that could be enhanced by the new cards that are coming in. Obviously we don't know what they are, but it's worth seeing. Um, an example that I like pulling out is the Simic uh, Ramp deck with Leyline of Abundance that we featured a couple times. That deck really only loses out Lana War Elf on the main board. It's a very powerful deck and in some capacities should still be around post-rotation. So what this deck is set to do is control the board with incidental life gain and leverage off a number of planeswalkers to win the game. So we have a removal package to start off with, uh, Disfigure for early drops, Legion's End, which was added in to deal with the scape shift. Scape shift wasn't really a thing when the first when I first kind of put together the deck. Uh, we have two Obnexus Cruelty, which deals with Exile, Avedonto, stuff like that. Some number of Mortifies. We have Kaya's Wrath, which also gains us life, uh, and Prison Realms. And then we have Board Wipes in the form of Kaya's Wrath. So overall, quite a bit in terms of removal. Uh, the removal is flexible in the sense that Prison Realm can deal with Planeswalkers, uh, Kaya's Wrath can deal with Planeswalkers, Mortify can deal with Enchantments, so there's some flexibility to the deck. Uh, the rest of the deck is going to have Donna Hope, which is kind of our card draw engine for the deck. Um, we don't get Karn anymore, we don't really have a traditional card draw engine in Black White, so what this card is set to do is uh, whenever we gain life, which we do with a number of cards in the deck, we can pay two mana and draw a card. Also late game, it's a mana sink that we can get tokens off of. Uh, I also have a finale of glory, which is a way that we could pump a bunch of mana in at the end and try to win the game. It's really good in the ramp decks. I want to see if it has any versatility in terms of a control deck like this. Um, we have Davriel, which is kind of to punish the opponent's hand. Uh, kind of tear it apart that way. We have Obnixus, uh, sorry, mentioned a Cruelty. We have Kaya, uh, Exile Your Opponent's Graveyard. Uh, I might switch up one of these for an Ashiok. Play it like that. Ashiok shuts down Scape Shift. Um, so we'll play it like that. And then we have Bell Haunt as our only creatures in the main board. Bell Haunt will. Gain us some life back is a good blocker, kind of disrupts the opponent's hand, and then we can get it back with Soren. Uh, a Johnny is something I want to try out. We gain a bunch of life in this deck, so the minus two might be useful. Uh, it does have a kind of board wipe effect with the zero. Uh, Soren gives our Bell Haunts lifelink, can bring back our Bell Haunts, can hit a Teferi if need be. And then we have two Liliana, uh, makes a bunch of tokens, draws us cards, forces opponent to sack stuff. And then Ugin's a one of catch-all removal. Uh, the rest of the mana base is pretty standard. Bunch of duels, uh, interplanar beacon to gain life, and some mobilized district as blockers attackers. Then we have four duress on the side, two devote decree versus uh, red or black things, Tomic versus Nisa decks, noxious grasp when we need the, that color hate, elder spell versus uh, planeswalker decks. To spark versus big stuff and a cry carnarium to wrap up versus escape shift deck or aggro so we'll run it through a couple games of ranked see how it goes um so before we get started i am live on twitch uh like i mentioned in a couple videos i will be coming out with a fall viewing schedule try to be consistent in terms of the days i am streaming 
As always, you can catch all my content on my channel, MTG underscore Joe. Uh, if you are there or here on Twitch checking it out, if you could drop a follow or subscribe, both are free and easy ways to support the channel and goes a long way to helping out. Finally, if you're interested in buying any of these cards or any other cards in Magic and you do purchase off TCG Player, I do have an affiliate link in the video description down below. If you follow through that link and do your purchase as normal through TCG Player, uh, it does help support the channel, tells them I sent you there. Uh, so if you're already buying cards, it helps out the channel. So it's another free way you can help show your support. Now let's play some Magic. So I'm doing this just as a kind of, because it was requested by a lot of people for the rotation proof decks, um, kind of playing some non-meta decks right now. Uh, so I'll be putting out an article with a few of them that I've already put together. Uh, so those are still cards that are considered rotating, but kind of explore some unique strategies. I want to revisit the, um, the Golos uh, Gates deck. Uh, we have Cruelty early, it's a little... Yeah, we'll try it out. So we hit our colors. This is Esper Hero. They'll 100% have Thought Erasure on turn 2. Okay, so it's the Grixis deck. So this is most likely the uh, Grixis midrange deck. So we don't really have a clean answer for Nico Bolas main board other than Prison Realm. Legion's End is actually really good. So opponent has a slow start as well. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the more controlling version of Grixis or the one that's more a little bit mid-range with Dr uh, Dreadhorde. Um... I'm going to get Donna Hope down. Grixis has no ways of dealing with enchantments other than um, Dream Eater. And they don't typically play Dream Eater. Okay, so they do have Nicol Bolas. The immortal Nicol Bolas will be your end. I'm going to get rid of I'm going to get rid of Kai's Wrath here. We're just trying to draw into Ugin, which we'll hit next turn. So just keep that down for now. This might get them to down tick on Soren. And then we can just Ugin the Nicol Bolas. So without Vraska's Contempt, this deck gets a little bit weaker main board. And then we can start pumping out tokens with uh, Donna Hope. Waiting on the opponent here. Okay, so they just go for the down tick. So see if they do play the counters in this deck. So we'll take it out there. The one thing is they did get like a card advantage off it, so it's already replaced itself. And they have a shock. So next turn we can have cruelty up if need be. It's fine. They probably take the cruelty here. It's more flexible against Nico Bolas.
Oh, Legion's End. Just pass the turn, we'll make a token on end step. Then we can start attacking in, trying to gain some life and draw some cards. So they can make a dragon. <laughs> Magnificent. Then it's important to kill this, otherwise our token dies. Cool, we got Kaya. So we'll attack in. I will consume you. We'll pay two life. Probably just play out the bell hunt here, start attacking their hand. This also guarantees that we have. Okay, so we got Soren back too, so they'll likely have removal spell for Bell Hunt, but we can always bring it back with Soren if need be. The incidental life gain's also been pretty good for us. Ooh, that's good. So we're doing this now. Uh, let's pay two. The reason being, yeah. It lets us draw cards if they kill one of our creatures. So we took it down Grixis there, so Elder Spell's good. Uh, we'll bring in some Devout Decrees and Dispark. Probably also Duress as well. Man, the, the client's really leggy. So I'm gonna bring in those. Uh, Finale probably can come out. Can probably get rid of Ashiok. Uh, they probably bring in some form of creature, so Kai also does very little in this matchup. Mind you, we have enough spot removal. Like, I'm curious to keep the Legion's End in, based on what they had. Eh, let's take them out. We'll see. I'll keep a couple Kai's Wrath in as catch-all removal. Everything else can deal with Nico Bolas. Because they usually have the four mana bolus there. We'll keep this. Uh, yeah, I guess we got double duress to screw up the early hand. Obviously, having two six drops and a thought erasure deck. But hopefully we can take a Thought Erasure on one. They did Mulligan too, so that allows us to be a bit more aggressive. Dispark can deal with a big threat. Okay, so they got double Thought Erasure here. And they have the War Boss. So they have answers. To our planeswalkers. So I'm probably going to take the Vraska's Contempt. For two reasons. This can specifically target. See, the good choice for them would be to take the Cruelty. So we probably, if we don't draw some removal, are going to just get buried by that. But they also missed a line drop. That also doesn't help our case. Uh, this is a matchup where I wish we had Thoughtseize. Okay, 
so we're both stuck on two lands. First of us to draw out of it is going to be in a good position. Yeah. So they get War Boss. Jeez. We'll give it one more turn if we don't draw removal for it. I'm just going to pack it up. That hand was totally reasonable to keep. So we need a white source here. That brings us back up to 10. They can hit us for nine next turn. Yeah. Well, when you drop all your mono stuff, doesn't really help. Uh... Okay, so we've seen the creatures. We could bring in another wrath. Probably just bring da Davriel. It's important to get the war boss off as quick as possible. That's another thing like this deck lacks is that kind of engine card. Uh, we got a mulligan this. All right, well, we'll keep this one. Uh, do we keep this? Yeah. Against a Thoughtseize deck, you have to. Like a Thought Erasure. It's unfortunate we have four lands, but two of them can actually tap for Bell Hunt here. If they use a Duress here. Okay, so they just wasted a spell. Uh, Johnny's not bad. At least it gives us something to cast for sure. So we'll play Mobilize District next turn. And then play the Beacon. Uh, that opens us up to being able to play some Bell Hunts next turn. They're missing blue mana, which is also notable. Sweet. So we drew pretty well. They got rid of uh, a Dreadhorde General, which is nice. So they use a Contempt. The spark doesn't really help. So you can start using a Johnny, just make cat tokens. You have to attack with one. So here I'm going to do, okay, it's fine, that tapped our mana so stupidly, we don't even have to spark mana up. That's annoying. This auto tapper needs to get a better algorithm. Cry a Carnarium would be a pretty nice draw. Or that. I 
So this will allow us to start getting some card advantage. Opponent is flooding out a bit. It's a little unfortunate. They get the down tick on Liliana here. Actually, I hope they get greedy and just do the minus. Nah. So we'll just get rid of Bolas here. Um, just poke in for one here, or for two damage. Interesting. So we have this mobilized district. We can start attacking in with it. I want to see if they forget about it. So another Liliana would be good, Ugin would be good. That's actually pretty solid. I will take a Bell Haunt. This is what I like about Mobilized District. We could have used it defensively, but now we're going on the offense. And it stays as an untapped land afterwards if you need to cast something. Uh, so it's unfortunate because we can't cast both, so... Let's get the card out of their hand. But again, better they use the stroke on that than something else. Okay, so another land. Donna Hope was would be good here. See if they have a removal spell. So we can actually animate this on their turn as well and eat the go uh, the goblin. Okay, so they're just thought reassuring for the value here to scry. It's also good because this gets around Archaia's Wrath. Okay, so Elder Spell's not bad. Can deal with a Bolus or something if it comes down. So we're both in top deck mode. Still somewhat behind in the sense that if they drop something big, Okay, sweet. So we're doing this now. Because if they have a spell, I want them to use it on the district. Okay, so negates there. Sarkin is a good card for them. Your end has arrived. Ideally here we draw Planeswalker. Uh, that works well too. S 
So... I'm just going face here. The reason being is all they can do is uptick and attack this turn. Okay, so they do have to keep the goblin back. So we do get a little punish there. They hit our elder spell. They do get to set up their draw a little bit better. Are you ready? So any removal spell, we win. Exaxes. All right, took down Grixis. So I'll do a best of one game so you can see how the deck plays there just in the interest of time. Crack a pack for you. Sweet. Getting closer to Yarrick Fields. That's four, I think. This is my favorite thing. It's just like play magic, get 500 coins. Uh, so we'll play that once in ranked. If you do have any cool um, brews uh, that you'd like to feature on the channel, uh, drop a comment below with the deck itself. We'll be trying to feature a couple uh, ooh. this deck kills creatures. I think we keep like mono red. <laughs> we just need to draw lands for the next two turns. Probably lead on swamp. There's more one mana, like removal options. Alrighty. Alright, well. Land, please. We draw land, we're good. Most likely vampires, but it's. I uh, haven't really seen any mono white going around anymore. Ah. Uh, okay, so it is mono white. Sweet. We have Cruelty the following turn for Vanguard, but Bell Haunt's also really good. So probably just Kaya's rat or um, up Nix's cruelty here. Yeah, because I want to catch the double uh, history turn. Okay, so do need to draw a land. Like next turn, we need to draw that land. Just don't want them to attack with three things. I they wouldn't have anything with haste though, so it's fine. Please land. Ah. Not the best, but it 
stops them from flipping this turn. So they got brought back. Oh, that's sweet. So they probably put down Gideon here. Oh, they go Benelish. Okay, so if we can draw the... So either way, Kaya dies, but this way we gain two life from the attack. And if they come after us... Like, this game should not be where it is, considering our hand. Probably give it lifelink. We got this figure, it doesn't really help here. Soaks up a little damage, but... Too far behind there. They've brought back anyways, we don't have a way to deal with the Gideon. Play one more for best of one. When you have double Bell Haunt, double Kaya's Wrath against a creature deck, and you just don't draw your fourth land, it's it's variance not going our favor. Uh, keep this hand; it's much better. Uh, probably put back the Liliana. We're a ways away. We're two mana away from Kai's Wrath with that, so it doesn't help our cause. It's escape shift. So drawing into the Legion's End has been great. Uh, this is just budget blue white control. Okay, so it is blue white control. So they discard opt. I'm known for my excellent timing. Uh, they are smart. This is a couple games now in a row that we've missed line drops. Just gonna pass turn here. See if they Kaya's or if So the unfortunate thing is we can't, uh... Let's try this. Wow. 24 lands and it's two games in a row that we've... A mind is a terrific thing to waste. The good thing is we're picking apart their hand and they effectively reset it for us. <laughs> cool, bro. Wasn't part of our contract. Could I interest you in a second Mortify? Um, here I'm gonna actually Kaya's Wrath, uh, Otha Kaya. Just to get rid of Teferi. There's our opening. Because now we can do this on their end step. This is actually ridiculous. We have so much gas in our hand. Alright. 
Soren also gains life. This starts dealing damage. Yeah, Lullaby missed. It's uh, actually quite... The fact that they haven't pulled that far ahead on us. Uh, do we have any creatures? No, but... This makes our pride mate. So unless they play planar cleansing. They opt. See what they get. And the nice thing is we can start just tearing apart their hand. I'm gonna just keep this in hand for... All right, which one do you name? Which of our friends do you name? We have one more Mortify in our deck. Uh, okay, so you could deal with the Planeswalker at least. Alright, well. We got him answered quite a few ways. Okay, they draw two cards. So that gets rid of an absorb. Ah, uh, we actually missed three points of damage there. All I've left you is pay. All right, took him down. Blue white control couldn't handle our planeswalkers. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap that up for today. It was just a quick video. Need to make myself some dinner, take the dog for a walk. Uh, thanks for those who tuned in live. Uh, you can, if you missed any part of it, I'll have this up on YouTube on Tuesday, August the 13th. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great one.